All right, so we're here to talk about the presentation software project. And I'm gonna give you some details about it, but first let's talk about this presentation part because you can't really learn to use the software. Like the whole point of learning to use the software is to give a presentation. So if you don't give a presentation, then what's the point, right? So let's talk about that for a minute because for a lot of people, presentations are super nerve wracking. Like they'd rather do anything else. They'd rather walk on broken glass, step on broken Legos. Um, I don't know chew on a rhinoceros, whatever, you name it. People would rather do almost anything to get up in front of a group and talk. And I understand that. Like I get a little nervous sometimes, which is weird because I'm a teacher, right? That's what I do is get up in front of people and talk. But I'm an introvert. So I'm like an introverted teacher, which is double weird. And there's lots of things, um, lots of tips and tricks I could give you. But we're not going to go into all those details right now because we'll talk uh, during class about some of those things. What I want to do in this video is give you an overview of what the project is, show you some resources, and, um, and just kind of set the whole thing up for you. So we're going to learn to use presentation software. It's super useful. Like you've probably seen it in classrooms. You almost can't get to college without seeing some teacher somewhere giving a presentation, right? It's just what we do. Um, I don't use a lot of slides per se in my class. Like I don't like go off the slides, but I do have several things set up in slides because it's an easy way to organize information. Um, if you're in the workplace, odds are reasonably good depending on where you work that somebody gave a presentation about something, um, a committee meeting, you know, who knows? Some HR, somebody gives, pres they always give presentations. Here's the secret, or here's the thing that people don't think about because you'd rather not get up in front of an audience for most people. Here's the thing. If you have a good idea, somebody's going to ask you to write about it and somebody's going to ask you to talk about it. You can't get around that. Otherwise, your good idea is just stuck in your head or become somebody else's idea and you don't get credit for it. So it's a skill worth developing. There's, you know, there's lots of organizations. There's an organization called Toastmasters. Their whole mission is to help people public speak to learn how to be better speakers in front of groups. Really good organization. They are, they're really phenomenal. We have a lot of chapters up here in the high desert area. They're all over the place. So if this is something you foresee that you're gonna to have to do like as part of your career, you might check them out and know this is not a paid endorsement. I don't get any kickbacks from Toastmasters, but they are a really good group. So let's talk about the actual assignment. The key thing to know, this is not a research project. Don't go researching something. As a matter of fact, you can't. It has to be on a topic. It has to be something you know a lot about. And you might say, well, I don't really know anything about anything. Oh, that's not true. What about um, the best way to make coffee? What about the last vacation you went on to some really cool place? What about your kids? What about your dogs, your cats? What about your chickens? Um, what about how to style hair? What about how to put on makeup? What about how to tie your shoe? The list just goes on. And those are all presentations I've had before. I had somebody do a presentation on a pet rock. Super funny. I had somebody do a presentation about how she fell out of a golf cart at a golf course and broke her leg. And it was hysterical, which it sounds a little weird. Um, I've had people do presentations on family recipes. Oh my gosh, we had one semester, where like half the class did recipes and brought in samples. Oh, I miss that part about being online. <laughs> you guys can't give me any samples. Super good, man. We had like a full buffet lunch by the end of the class period. It was great. Um, how to make cookies, how to sell cookies if you're a Girl Scout. I don't know. There's just lots of things. How to make a bed, it, all, whatever. The topic is up to you. The key is you can't research it. Now, I am going to ask you to get a reference about it but not in terms of having to research it. I mean, you could maybe find a little more information, but in terms of just sharing what you know, plus practice making a citation. So that's always good. Anyhow, so you got the point, topic, don't research it. Then you're gonna create the slides. And there's a really good tutorial in class, the GCF Learn Slides tutorial. It'll step you right through it if you've never done it before in Google Slides from how to make a blank presentation 
all the way up to lots of tips and tricks for organizing things and being really effective because you can insert pictures, you can insert videos, um, different kinds of text, you know, just all kinds of stuff, but you need to think through how to organize it. So there's a video LinkedIn class called Death by PowerPoint. Definitely watch that video. And if it's on that video, don't do it. Okay. He tells all the bad things. He's a comedian and he's talking to a business audience. So it's really funny. Um, he makes some really good points about color contrasts and um, animation and all kinds of things. Okay. So just watch the video and then promise yourself you won't do any of those things. Um, there is a link in class. Oh, it's on the resource. It's on the assignment. We'll go there in just a minute. I'll show you the assignment. We'll go there in a minute. But there's a link to a site called Slides Carnival. And she has amazing templates that you can use. You can just import them into your Google Slides and just start typing away. Now, personally, I import them in. And then when I go to use them, I make a copy of it and then edit the copy. So that way I still have like her slides as the template. I'm on her mailing list and I get an email. I got one today, actually. I get an email about every two weeks, maybe you know, two or three times a month at the most. And it just says like, here's a new template. And then I go check it out. And there's some really cool stuff. So anyhow, so that's the logistics. So part of this assignment is, can you do a couple of things? Kind of like in the word processing one, I'm just checking off that you can accomplish a few things with presentation software. So let me go to a screen share. Let me jump over here. And what you're going to do is look for this project presentation software file upload, because that's where the assignment specifications are. And I'm going to take this video we're making and I'm going to embed it on this page. But when you click that, it's going to jump over to this page. And this page has a lot of information. Um, as a matter of fact, let me open the navigation bar here. So it's got a lot of information. But the first thing I want you to read, especially if you're a little nervous about this idea, I want you to read this first page. Now, if you're like, it's cool, I give presentations all the time, this doesn't bother me, then just skip down to the task, okay? But I'm going to tell you, so this is just my perspective, right? But I'm going to tell you that this is one of the most empowering assignments of the entire semester. I'm telling you that because that's what students have told me. They've said, I didn't think I could do this. Like, I was terrified to do this. I've had people get nervous. I've never had anybody throw up or actually die from this assignment. I've been doing it for a really long time. But I have, people, have had people get exceptionally nervous. And that's OK. They come out of it the other end, and they're like, oh my gosh, I never thought I could do that. And that was amazing. Anyhow, yeah, just read through that. And I give some rationale for why you should give presentations or learn to give presentations. And then here's the actual task that I was talking to you about. So topic selection, again, um, you know, pick any topic you want. I do have a caveat. It has to be something you'd be comfortable discussing in front of your grandmother. It has to be G rated. All right. I have some good stories about topics students wanted to do. And I was like, nope, nope, nope. So just do it on something your grandma wouldn't mind. Okay. Here's the assignment details, the things you have to include. Pretty basic, eight to 10 slides, you know, a theme, a title slide, multimedia, which could be images or video. If you include a video, however, you can only do a 10 to 30 second clip. Because if you only have a two minute talk, you can't have two minutes of the talk be a video, right? So just a really short snippet of it. Um, there's the grading criteria. I pretty much, as I watch it, I check it off. Do you, you know, do you do all these things? All right. And then submission criteria. So what I'm going to do, and then there's a couple of pages of tips, just tips. So the main part is kind of this task right here, you know, topic selection. And then you upload it to this form. So I'm going to click the form, and this is how you're going to submit this real simple form: name, email, you know, address, what semester. Google Slides, so you're going to give me the URL when you sh you're going to share it and give me the you put the URL here, the shared URL. If you have the PDF, you can upload the PDF right there. You might have to upload it to YouTube or you might have to upload it to Google Drive. Just make sure like to YouTube, you can make it unlisted and then nobody can see it unless they have a link. Same thing on Google Drive, you can make it so that only people with a link can view it. So it's pretty straightforward. So uh, upload your files here. So how are you going to record this video? 
you might do what I'm doing right now. Just get into Zoom and do a screen share. Super easy, okay? Um, I have a background right now, but you've all seen me on the weekly videos, the overview videos, that's what I do. I pull up some slides and I just talk right through it. Um, when you exit Zoom, it downloads the video file for you. You could do it on your cell phone, your cell phone, my invisible cell phone, there we go. You could do it on your cell phone and just um, record yourself talking about the slides. That'd be a little trickier. Um, you could do Screencast-O-Matic. A lot of people like that one, Screencast-O-Matic. It's a screencasting software that uh, does a pretty good caption. I think there's a five minute limit on it, but I, I'm not sure about that. I'd have to go look. So look up some ways to do it. Zoom's the easiest. Honestly, we're all using it already anyhow. So you get up, you do a screen share, and away you go. Just make sure your slides are in presentation mode. And when you go through the GCF tutorial, you'll learn about that. There's a lot of moving pieces to this. Um, basically, set a topic, pick a topic, learn about the slides, create the slides, find a resource that has to do with the slides, with the topic, stick it on your, your bibliography slide, record it, upload it. And yeah, really good. It's a really good project. We'll have a lot of fun. And hopefully, you'll find it a good experience.